is what Hurricane Delta sounded like while inflicting new misery on Louisiana. Whipping winds, floods, and fury. Lashing communities along a path carved by Hurricane Laura just six weeks earlier. Delta hitting the state hard as a Category 2 hurricane. Those gusts clocking in at 155 kilometers per hour. Their destructive force ripping off roofs, tossing this mobile home into a body of water, flipping an 18-wheeler onto its side, and knocking out power for hundreds of thousands before weakening once over land. But fierce rain and flash flooding continue to pose dangers across portions of Louisiana and neighboring Texas and Mississippi, according to the National Hurricane Center. Louisiana's governor also warning. As we remember with Hurricane Laura, once the storm has passed, there will still be threats to people's lives and safety. He tweeted after the storm passed, Delta has left hazards like flooded roads, downed power lines and displaced wildlife in our communities that no one should take lightly. Everyone needs to remain vigilant. The winds and rains of Delta, all too familiar for residents, still reeling from the impacts of Hurricane Laura. Life yet to resume, homes yet to be repaired, some underwater again. We got about three inches of water and the water's then seeped into the drywall, so we'll have to replace the drywall, probably the, all the flooring's gonna have to be replaced, as well as the baseboards. Wreckage piled up on roadsides from Laura had been sent like rockets through the air, a symbolic reminder of all they've endured. Delta marks a record 10th named storm to make landfall in the U.S. and the fifth hurricane to hit our neighbors to the south this year. Now, according to this meteorologist at Colorado State University, this breaks the previous record of nine storms set back in 1916. For City News, I'm Karen Seolin.